Welcome back to Prakshado channel. We are back with Sherlock Holmes chapter 1. Uh, so last time we have the intro episode and you know we were kind of getting our feet wet. We made it to this um, Isn't life too short uh, destination. Today, so. I would say maybe holiday destination in this hotel and we were going into medium and right now we're gonna have some new tasks to find some stolen diamond so thank you so much uh, for the viewership on the first episode i really do do appreciate it and let's see what we can do this episode so thank you so much without further ado let's go ahead and do this find the stone mr holmes and quickly oh well, well, well. what do you think about it john oh, i love the ambiance nice and creepy oh that's great Okay, so we did a table last time, if you remember. So now we have this guy to talk to. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Oh, are you the guy who didn't open the door for me? I believe so. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing special there. We have this guy to talk to. Ooh. He just randomly playing me. <laughs> what is wrong with John? What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. What? I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Okay. Our spirit's here now. Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, <laughs> and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. Okay, we'll find out who did it then. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Okay, before I do, I want to see what it's in here. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Yeah, right. Okay, before I will open the evidence, let me just... Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. A feebleness of women. <laughs> oh, gosh. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. Oh, my Okay, couple of things, right? So what is this puddle? What is this thing? Okay. Oh, okay, so that's a heel, right? This looks recent. A shoe mm -hmm. with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Okay. Um, let's first look around before I will pin it and trail. Why I, why I should talk to you? Ghost hunting. This case gets more exciting by the minute. Ghost okay, hunting. Okay, 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 Joan. This case gets more exciting by the minute. I know it's a lot of fun for you, but it's not that much fun for me. Okay. Excuse me, just one question. That's a question I can answer. The resident who was in the courtyard saw a maid who was working in the courtyard. He noticed that she left in a hurry after a scream uh, was heard from the sounds room. Okay, good. Found the broken heel and scratches and I can check. The resident saw a maid. Okay, great. Nothing in here. And that was a letter in here. So let's just check this. A honey plotter's note. Angie, it looks like the old man is losing it. His 
beehives are being ransacked and his bees are going down one by one. I don't think there is much honey left in staying with the swarm if you catch my drift. Meet me at the docks at noon. We'll do it together. Oh, honey plus. <laughs> okay, so we will right now um, first pin the relevant evidence to, this, uh, to the screen. And uh, concentrate mode with Q reload the trail. So do I have to pin it first? So okay, that's this. I think I have this right. Yeah, no, I have it here. Okay, there's nothing to pin yet. So we're just gonna go, and then we hold Q. All right, so we see. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. <sighs> okay, so I will continue from here. Uh, oh. All right. All right, so this person went over here. Okay, well, we're just gonna escape this and let's go. Okay, so that's kind of a done deal. I was just checking if nothing is in here. Okay. Let's... Okay, we should observe this room. Okay, we have some... Oh. Okay, that would be the shoe with missing. Oh, that would be definitely the shoe with missing heel. Yep. Size four with a broken heel. Yep. Rose de Moor. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless. <sighs> no. What a shame. Hmm. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Okay. This reminds me of the fairy tale, Sherry. Will you find your princess? All right, so it looks we have to go. Okay, so common shoes. Okay. Um, mind place. Okay, nothing here. Okay, I think it's a. Okay, let's go, people. Excuse me, just one question. I would never deny you, sir, but I know nothing about Of course, this. because you're not maid. So let's look at maid and look at the shoes. So her shoes are normal, but let's just... Uh... Are you able to help me? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some oh, information finally. for you. Oh, finally. Okay. Uh, the staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief's Stewart for wearing common shoes at work. She should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. Okay. Let's run, people. Near the pictures. Uh, near the pictures. Okay, there's a two over here. Okay, I'm just gonna check real quick if there's any mate. Okay, so I think those two were closer, so let's go ahead 
And um, this one is the closest. What shoes are you wearing? Well, it looks like she has a normal shoes, but let's go and talk. Could you help me? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else. Uh-huh. What about you? You have a normal shoes too, but never mind. Help me, please. Don't be angry, sir, but I truly don't know. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Maid. So I will go ahead and just chase down all the maids. Yeah. Oh, okay, so these are the pictures too. I forgot there are pictures here, so... That's the one. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towels? No. No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? Yes. How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? Oh, do we should... I don't want to, like, we are solving a crime. A precious diamond was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss? Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. Aww. I won't, but... Only if you answer my questions truthfully and don't play coy. I can tell. Okay. What did you see in the room? Describe what happened during the seance. Um, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's uh -huh. chest. A glowing cloud or a, a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape and I broke my heel. Hmm. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. Okay. Interesting. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. Ooh. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. <laughs> and then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Simple things to simpletons? Oh my god. Okay, no, I'm going there. I'm actually running there. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Okay, so with enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past, interact with the notes to begin, then recreate an accurate version of events. Here, try to place the seance participants in their correct position. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if I was. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, so we have this guy on a chair with his jacket and he's blowing something. And then we have the guy. 
here. And then you have her pointing at the window. Okay. Ooh! Okay. Oh no, so... All right, and now I understand what I'm doing here. Okay, finally, and then... She was pointing in the window, yes. Um... I don't know if that's right. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So he must have been over here. Okay, my fault. My fault. This would be the Santa's guy. Yep. And here would be the the uh, the husband. Okay. And this should be correct because she was looking in the window, pointing at her. All right. This is definitely the right one. Finally! It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. Uh -huh. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. 26. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Okay, so... The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. Great. It is one of their suites. Okay. We're just gonna run upstairs to two six. So uh, we are two two three. So that should be somewhere over. Uh, two two one. Sorry, two two four. Okay, so that would be over there because uh, two two five. Oh, here they are. Now hold on a second. Uh, two two five. He is guarding. Okay, okay, okay. So they has, must be somewhere over here. Two to four. All right. No, 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 no. Why am I getting lost all the time? Oh my gosh, this is like really curse, you guys. Okay, two to five, two to six. It's over here. Let's go. Must be. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. Okay, we're just gonna keep this. Oh, I just, I, I think I messed this up. I don't know what I was- Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall. We've got to fall back, Sherlock. I think they're suspicious. 
Oh, they were checking you out. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her, babe? Let's go, people. This guard. This guard. Uh, this guard. This guard. Uh... Oh! I overheard two staff members talking about Lady Craven. They gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven by their observation. She was on a lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure how to properly use a fish knife. Oh, interesting. Maybe she is. Uh... Okay, so should I pin it? I don't know. No, maybe we should pin this. I don't know. All right. Here we are. Uh oh. Is she's dead? Oh. You're here at last. I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Uh -huh. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. <laughs> Now it's a matter for the police. Great. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Uh-huh. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. Okay. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. <laughs> and how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Okay, where's the menu? Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. Okay. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. <laughs> you must help me. Let me see what I can find. Only an hour has passed. You already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Right. I think this would be a great... Um way to stop because here that would be a room full of investigation we have a body poor emma she is dead we have the time one back um so i think we will definitely take care of that next time thank you so much for watching the episode and hopefully you had a great time um you know if you enjoyed yourself please click the like button that will help me greatly if you have any comments or any ideas for this game uh please go ahead and comment below i do read all your comments and i will come back to you and if you enjoy uh, my channel going back for this series or any other consider subscribing other than that i will see you next time thank you so much Bye bye